What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. I know, I know. Jeans, where's your hat? Where's your beanie? What's going on today? I'm not wearing one because honestly, I was on vacation last week. I had a bunch of pre-recorded videos for you guys. That's why you guys didn't miss out on any content. But I was reading the comments while I was sitting on a beach and people were roasting me. They're like, what does jeans have no hair? Like, what's up with jeans always wearing a hat? Well, I'm here to prove the haters wrong. We're wearing no hat today. Check it out. Check it out. You guys seen this? You guys seen it? Take a good hard look. I got a lot of hair. It's curly, it's a little messy, but hey, hair is hair. Hair is hair. But we are rocking out with a Sama Zenta and Chandelure team that actually won a national championship. So really cool team, really dope Pokemon on it. I absolutely love Chandelure. Now let's talk about Chandelure a little bit. Flash Fire and Life Orb as its item. Nice little ability and item to boost its damage. With Protect, Heat Wave, Trick Room, and Shadow Ball. So it's got two stab moves. It's got protect and it also has trick room for a bit more speed control on today's team. Zamazenta obviously are restricted Pokemon and a really good one. Top tier in regulation G with Dauntless Shield and Rusted Shield as its item and ability. It's rocking body press, wide guard, protect, and heavy slam. Our final four Pokemon on today's team feature Rillaboom, Fluttermane, Shen Pao, and Moltres. This Rillaboom does have the choice band as item, so we can do an insane amount of damage. It's got Grass Guide, Wood Hammer, U-Turn, and High Horsepower. And we also have Shen Pao on today's team. So we could pair up this Choice Band Rollaboom with Shen Pao and just do big time damage. Fluttermane and Moltres are final two, and they're more of a support build. Like as you can see, this Fluttermane has Icy Wind and Thunder Wave, two great speed controlling moves. And this Moltres has Taunt, so we can taunt opposing support Pokemon. Absolutely love this team. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Mental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing the Chandelure and Samacenta team. First match coming at you guys, and it actually sucks because I recorded a whole battle, a whole intro with this team, and I looked over to my right and I actually wasn't recording the whole time. And the first battle was amazing. We had a comeback victory using Wide Guard Zamazenta to choice band Rillaboom up against a Kyogre team. It was just such a good battle all around, and I was so excited to get it on recording until I looked over at my recording software and did not see the recording button lit up. So I was I was upset. I was so upset. But we're here. Hopping into our first match for this recording, and we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with the Incineroar, Rillaboom, and then on top of that, they got Urshifu, Ogre Pun, and Wurnatus. Okay, so we definitely want Zamazenta. I like Zamazenta here. I could bring Chandelure if I can get some speed, but Fluttermane would have to be our speed control Pokemon. Um, I am a little scared of maybe, like, Calyrex coming in here with Tornado, so I might want to lead my Choice Band Rillaboom. And I think that's in our best interest to just go Rillaboom Shen Pao here. I do like that. I do like Rillaboom Shen Pao with Zamazenta in the back end. And last but not least, maybe Chandelure. I mean, Chandelure could be good. Fluttermane could also be dangerous here. I think I like Fluttermane a bit more. Icy Wind for Speed Control. We got the booster energy. They want to go for Tailwind. They can go for Tailwind. Um, what's your Terror type here? Chandelure Grass? Yeah. I figured. And your Shiny's so dope. I really want to go Chandelure, but I feel as Fluttermane's just a tad bit better here. So we're going to rock out with Fluttermane. We are going to rock out with Fluttermane. But yeah, like I mentioned in the intro, I just came back from vacation. You guys can probably see I'm a bit tanner right now than uh, previous videos. But I did pre-record five videos for you guys. So I was gone for five days. I had five videos lined up. I worked extra hard the week before just so you guys do not miss out on any content. So hopefully you guys do appreciate that. But we're back in action. Daily uploads are here. We probably miss one day because I'm behind on recordings now. So I might have to take a day off from uploading. But to get back on track, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. But they're going to end up going Calyrex and Ogre Pond here. Um, Calyrex and Ogre Pond, a little scary. I mean, I have Focus Sash. Um, I could just Trasalize and just go into like a Grassy Glide here. And just look to rip up into this Calyrex. And I think there's a shot we could just KO this thing. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Terra Grass and just protect my Shen Pao. I am just going to protect Shen Pao. They might even protect Ogre Pond with Spiky Shield. Let's see. But yeah, I'm terrestrializing straight grass with the choice band. Looking to do a ridiculous amount of damage here. And I think grass you got with this choice band can actually just KO this Calyrex. Because you got the stab factor, you got the terror boost, you got the grassy terrain boost, you got the choice band boost, and then you got the Shen Pao boost as well. Or I should say Shen Pao ability boost. So I'm just protecting my Shen Pao. They end up protecting Calyrex. That hurts so bad. That really hurts. That really hurts, and he's going to spike a shield. So, just an all-around protect turn. I wish I had Swords Dance on this roll. Boom, just Swords Dance at this turn. <laughs> but, yeah. They're reading out my Grass Guide. I'm choice into it now, which is a little tough for me. Um, they might hard swap, but who would they hard swap into? 
Incineroar. That could be tough news if they hard swap into Incineroar. I'm actually just going to switch this Grass Guide over to here. And, oh man, you know what? No, we're going to Ice Crash that. We're just going to Grass Guide that. We are still going to Grass Guide that. No more we'll Ice Crash. So yeah, Grass Guide here. Might just hard swap. Maybe just go into like Zama Zenta. At this point. I think it might be better for us. Yeah, let's go into Zama Zenta. Let's keep our Shen Pao. Let's go right into Zama Zenta. Because then we pose that threat to him. With Zama Zenta and body pressing it. So I'm just going to go right into Zama Zenta. I'm going to hope that he stays in here with Calyrex. And we can just KO. But we'll see. We'll see. Follow me comes out here. Which is actually a smart play. A real smart play. So follow me comes out there. Grass Guy should be able to chunk up. A lot of damage here. I mean, I know you have Sturdy, but how much damage are we doing? A lot. So another Grass Guide will KO. And this thing's got a Nasty Plot set up, which is... Eh, a little scary. Definitely a tad bit scary. Um, okay. I'm going to go for another Grass Guide into the slot. And do I have Wide Guard here? Do I Body Press? I think I got a Wide Guard. I think I have the Wide Guard. It's going to protect Calyrex. Did I go into Calyrex slot again? Or did I... I definitely win, but you're protecting anyway. Don't protect. He wants to read to see if we have wide guard, which we do. We obviously do. And wide guard's gonna fly here. Um, huh? What's our play here now? <laughs> what is our play here now? So we're gonna get grass guide into this Calyrex slot. I'm surprised if they have. Uh, I'm surprised if they have what's it called? But they haven't gone for it yet. I'm gonna do this. And I'm just gonna go for a heavy slam, the ogre pond. I don't think going for wide guards are play here. They know we have wide guards, so it's like they might not even use it. Unless Astro Barrage is their only move. They might have like training kiss. Maybe I should have went for wide guard. We'll see. We'll see how this one plays out here. But honestly, Calyrex might be able to eat up this grassy guy now. Ends up just withdrawing, which is totally fine. Is this Incineroar? Is this Incineroar? No, it's Tornadus. That's totally fine by me. We're still doing some nice damage to this. Where's guy gonna fly? I think it should do half, even though it's not very effective. Yeah, I mean, another one looks like it should KO, but honestly, he's gonna get back HP. Actually, it might not. Uh, he's flying type, so he doesn't get the benefit of HP recovery here. That's fine. So you had a nasty plot. You had a nasty plot. Uh, what's it called? Calyrex, and he withdrew it. That's that's a that's a plus on our end. And now you go into Tailwind, but you're still not really helping your case. I think you're trying to waste out these turns. We might just hard swap here. How many turns are left in grass terrain? One. Yeah, uh, he's gonna protect you. He's gonna waste out this turn. And I'm just gonna go into my Fletcher main. Because we know you're setting up Tailwind and we know you're protecting Calyrex here. You want the speed. You want all the speed in the world. I'm gonna save my Shen Pao. Shen Pao could come up clutch. So I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna heavy slam you because I know you're protecting this Calyrex. I know you're protecting Calyrex. So we're going to hard swap Robum just so we get terrain back later and just have this grassy line ready to go for first turn priority. I'm just going to go right into Flutterman. So I think they're setting up Tailwind. I think they're protecting Calyrex. Am I correct? Am I correct here? Let's see. Go ahead. Protect that horse. We're not as protect. Is this a double protect? Is this, is this your plan here? A double protect? Yeah. Okay. okay. What is up with all these protects? They really want to waste out this terrain. And they're probably really upset because I just swapped Roll Boom. They're probably like, come on, man. I just wasted out terrain. And now you're ready to go back into it. Yep, Jeans is ready to go back into it. So Tailwind can fly. Um, We could Wide Guard here. And that might be in our best interest just to Wide Guard up. And start slowing him down with Icy Wind. Because I do have boost energy. So I'm going to Wide Guard here. I'm going to play the Icy Wind game. Slow him down a little bit with Fluttermane. And just look to kind of control this match. Look to control this match. We already got rid of Ogre Pound, which is big. We did some damage onto Tornadus. We still have Roboom and Shin Pao in the back end, which is a great combo. And they end up just withdrawing Calyrex. I don't think they really know what they want to do here. End up going into Urshfu, which is totally fine. I'd rather slow that thing down a little bit. There's going to be Water Urshfu. And that's actually kind of scary if they go into like Rain Dance here. Because that thing could do some damage. But Tailwind flies out here. I mean, a booster energy flutter main should be faster than minus one Urshifu. So I'm thinking I could just drop a nice little Moon Blast and KO that, right? I hope so. I mean, I could just go right back in the roll boom if I want to. But then Bleak Wind Storm's a little scary. But yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do this and... I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to just double down. I'm going to just double down in Urshifu. 
Or do I make sure Tornadus dies? Am I really scared of Tornadus? A little bit. A little bit, but I still have two good Pokemon in the back end, so I'm going to double down here. He's going to go for close combat, which we so called day. Beautiful, lovely Fluttermane is going to KO this Urshifu. And then uh, Zamazenta should just take out this Tornadus. Bye-bye, Urshifu. Bye-bye, Tornadus. That's going to be match number one. Little victory here for you guys. I got you guys. A win all day long. A win all day long. He ends up landing a double Bleak Wind Storm, but it don't matter. It just doesn't matter. Body Press can now fly. I mean, I can Wide Guard next turn. I can paralyze this Calyrex. and start dealing damage, but I don't think it matters. I think we just Wide Guard. We go for a Moon Blast, and then if we need it, we have Terra Roll Boom next to Shen Pao late game and just Grassy Glide into this thing to, to win it. Pretty simple, but yeah, they protect it way too much. They protect it way too much. They went to waste out the terrain, and once I swapped out and got terrain control, it kind of just ruined their whole plan, right? So, I'll take this all day. I'll take this all day. We might have a sweep action. We go for a wide guard. We read them going in as barrage. That's really like their last chance. He ends up just going into a draining kiss, which we end up soaking, which is hilarious. We end up just soaking that. The moon blast doing great damage. We do get a special attack drop. And I want the sweep, so I'm just gonna go for a Moonblast here and then just protect Samusenta. Can you just cancel the match? No, they don't. I'm going for a protect and if it, oh you can't use protect after Y guard. Wow, I should just use Y guard. Kinda hurts the soul. Fluttermane eats though. Fluttermane eats. I don't think Fluttermane can KO, but I really want the sweep. And I always forget that. You can't protect after Y guard, which makes sense. I mean that'd be really broken, right? That would be ungodly broken. But their Tailwind's finally gone, which means my Fluttermane outspeeds, but I can just go right in the roll movement, grass guide away. GG's. 1 and 0 to get this video started. We love it. We love it. Hot star for us. We didn't get to use Chandelure, which is kind of upsetting, but at the same time, I'd rather take a win, you know? We'll use Chandelure in match number 2 or 3. But they finally canceled match. Let's go. First match was a success. We're hopping into our second match, going up against Zacian, who is a heavy hitter. And honestly, I didn't realize this. We have Zamazenta versus Zacian. Now, in Sword and Shield, Zacian was definitely the better dog. But I think the tides have turned here in Scarlet and Violet. Zamazenta is definitely the better dog. They also have Shen Pao. They're rocking out with, uh, not Thunderous, not Tornadus, Landorus. That's his name. And then Suicune, Incineroar, and Wimscott. So they can definitely lead Incineroar, so maybe going into physical attackers might not be in our best interest. We could go into our lovely Chandelure alongside Fluttermane. That could be a pretty good lead, because honestly, Chandelure is super effective onto a ton of these guys. So I think going into both of these is perfect for us, and then bring in Zamazenta and Shen Pao for late game could be good. Yeah, I like Shen Pao better than Rillaboom here. Especially with the Focus Sash. The Focus Sash is just so good. I mean, I could go Rillaboom. Rillaboom type nice. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're not going to overthink this. We're bringing Shen Pao with the Focus Sash. Such a good Pokemon. Has been a good Pokemon for multiple formats. We're not going to change it up now. The Snow Leopard with Dagger Teeth. It's just so dope. I think Shen Pao has one of the coolest designs for legendary Pokemon. I really do. I think it's so dope looking. Like a Snow Leopard with... Oh no, is it a Snow Leopard? Yeah, it's definitely a Snow Leopard. It's not a saber -tooth Tiger. It's a Snow Leopard with saber -tooth Tiger Teeth. Look at dope, but swords. It's so cool. We're going to end up going into these two, which I don't mind. I mean, Fluttermane's going to outspeed. And the good part about this is I can go into a nice, lovely Icy Wind. I can go into a nice, lovely Icy Wind. And I kind of want Thrasilize you because I know a ground move's coming. So I think we can just go Heat Wave and sacrifice our Fluttermane because they can obviously just like Behemoth Blade us. And we can just go into Icy Wind and slow down everybody. And on top of that, that will be four times super effective onto the Lando. So, it's going to do big damage. And then combine that with Heat Wave, we should be able to KO. But I wouldn't be surprised if they Terrasilize their, uh, what's it called right now. There's Zacian. Which maybe I shouldn't have Terrasilized Shandler because we're going to be able to outspeed regardless. That should be a fine turn for us. Icy Wind does, oh my god, monster damage to Lando. Monster damage to Lando. More importantly, we get the speed drop. So, Shandalor should outspeed. It doesn't. It's a good thing I did rock out with this terror type. Good thing I didn't. You're still not outspeeding, Shandalor. How slow are you, Shandalor? You might want to pop a trick room. You're not outspeeding any of them. I need you to land this heat wave here. I need you to land this heat wave. Oh, no, Shandalor. Lando dodges it? That hurts the soul. But at least we dump on Zassian. That's big time news for us. 
All right, cool. Um, I could go into Shen Pao. I could sucker punch that. And that could actually work out fine for us, but that really hurts the soul. That uh, that just happened there. Yeah, we're gonna go into Shen Pao. We need to get rid of Lando. Lando just hits too hard. That's my problem here. But man, we missed that heat wave on Lando. That could have been so big. Just dumping on that. Could have been so big. But now, of course, they got Fake Out ready to go. Got Shen Pao chilling here. I think this is just a simple double protect kind of play for me. Because I think Sucker Punch still KOs that Lando regardless. So I think we just double protect and then we kind of go from there. Play smart and simple. So protect here. Protect here. And then we can attack next turn. I could... Could swap if I want to, but again, I think Sucker Punch is still KOing that Lando. So we should still go into that. They still have Terra though. You still have Terra. Yeah, double protect easily to play here. Because I, I was just going to attack with a Shandle here, but you have Sludge Bomb. You could fake out the Shandle here as well. And you end up just not going for a fake out. End up just, you're opting out of fake out here. You want to go for Flare Blitz. I mean, I have Focus Ash there. And I think he's Choice Scarf, to be honest. I really do think he's Choice Scarf. But from here, we're, honestly, we might just swap Shandle. Or I could pop a Trick Room. Who could your last Pokemon be? It's gotta be someone faster, right? It's gotta be Shen Pao. It's gotta be Shen Pao. A choice in the earth power for sure. Um, we're gonna double down with Heat Wave just in case. Just go Sucker Punch. Ends up withdrawing Landers. Okay, so Landers gets to withdraw. And who's your final Pokemon? It's gotta be Shen Pao here. It's gonna be Suicune. Okay, I don't mind Suicune. So Lando's really their, their one big attacker here. Sucker Punch is gonna get dodged. And he's gonna go for Flare Blitz and trigger Focus Sash. Might be a good time for us to swap our Shen Pao. Right? You gotta be going for Flare Blitz here. Yeah. So Flare Blitz gonna fly. We are gonna sash up, which is good. It might be a good time for us to swap the Shen Pao. And have this thing take some recoil. And we can stay in here and just start throwing Shadow Balls, I guess? Yeah, into you. I'm cool with that. And swapping into Zombies at Because Shen Pao could come up so clutch for us. It really could. It really could, but Zamazenta is just an absolute beast. Absolute beast, especially with Body Press up against these Pokemon. Body Press could definitely help us out. So we're going to swap into our uh, Zamazenta, reset our attack set with Shen Pao. And try to get after it with uh, Shandle. I mean, this match is pretty much in the bag if we don't miss that Heat Wave on Landers, which kind of upsets me. Because looking back at it, it's just like, dude, if you just land that Heat Wave, we get rid of their two main attackers in one turn. Would have been so big. Would have been so big, because we Icy win that turn. We even Terrastalize to, to eat up the Earth power. And now Landers reset his Choice Scarf. Now comes him. Scald's going to do a little bit of damage. No burns. Come on, man. My RNG sucks, dude. It's so bad. At least Body Press doesn't take damage off of that, which is good news. So Shadow Ball doing great damage. And he's probably just going to go for a knockoff here. I was going for Flare Blitz, which we have Flash Fire. Thank you. Love me some Flash Fire. And now I take Burn Damage. That's just so ugly. It really is. It really is. So another Shadow Ball into this weekend slot is just great news for us. And we can actually throw a Body Press into Incineroar. That's what's good about Zamazenta is the Burn doesn't negate any of the damage. So. Body Press just rocks. It's just so good. No attack drops mess with it. No burns. Samazenta just a dog. No pun intended. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta start barking. I gotta start doing that more. Barking whenever I'm using Samazenta or Zacian. Come on, man. They dogs. There you go. Body press flying. Roof, 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 roof. Critical hit too. Roof, roof, roof. <laughs> he plays no games. Get on out of here, Incineroar. Get on out of here. And now, Calm Mind's gonna file here. We still should be, be able to do a nice chunk of damage here with our... Zamazenta and our Chandelure. I'm hoping we can just get a crit here and just take out this weekend. That's some nice damage. Um, from here, though. What's the plan here, though? Honestly, they still have a shot at this. 
Let's go into Lando with the Choice Scarf. You can outspeed me. You can do a lot of damage. You do a lot of damage. So I think just like protecting you. Actually, maybe just doubling down. Actually, I like going into like a heat wave here. Actually, no, we have to make sure Lando goes out. We have to make sure Lando goes out. So I'm going to double down into him and go for that. Definitely a play. Definitely a play. All right. Wish we still had terror. Cause he might be able to just dump on my zombies at them one turn with an earth power. He might be going for a, what's it called? What's that move? Sands here storm. That could be scary, but he's going to end up terrestrializing you. Gotta go in the poison terror, right? Lando terrestrializing into round. Oh, he's, he's, he's KOing my zombies anti here. I should just protect it, but I think doubling down is definitely our play. I should got Ice Beam on Sweeping. Of course you got Sands here, Storm. And of course you're double landing it. Of course, no problem. Okay, now we definitely probably lost this match. Yeah, no, we 1,000% lost this match. That sucks, man. That sucks. I should have just protected my uh, Zamazenta there. But I figured he wouldn't go for Sands here, Storm. That was my whole thing. That was my whole thing. It was just like, okay, if you just attack one Pokemon, the other one should survive. And we just KO. But I probably should just protect it. And then wait till I get Shen Pao out. Because I know he's choice. And then just sucker punch it, take it out. And then attack the other Pokemon. Man, that sucks. Um, We're going to sucker punch the land, though. We're going to get rid of the land, though. And we're going to hope that, like, Suicune misses, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. You can always hope. Or maybe a misclick. Something could happen. You never know. We're not going to quit this match just yet. Sucker Punch is going to finish you off. Show me a misclick. Go for a Calm Mind. Click Calm Mind or something. <laughs> Give me a chance here. Give me a chance here. Definitely go for Skull, right? Yep, there it is. GG, our opponent. Again, should have protected that Zamazenta or even a Shen Lord and just waited for my Shen Pal. But hey, we're 1-1. One one. Let's go hop to our third and final match. Moving on to our third and final match, and I would love to grab ourselves a winning record here. We are sitting one and one. We are going up against another horse team, Shadow Rider Calyrex this time. Just a bunch of horses today. We're just horsing around, no pun intended. But they got Tornadus, they got Urshu, they got Indeed to pair up with that uh, that Calyrex. So we definitely have to bring in Rollboom, and then uh, they got Fluttermane and Chiyu. So Fluttermane's, or not Fluttermane, Rollboom's going to be more of a back end Pokemon for us. It is a Pokemon that I do like. We could maybe just try to pop Trick Room because they are very fast. They are a very fast team. So if they want to set up like Tailwind, we could just like Terrasize and set up Trick Room. And that's something I actually really like. So I'm going to do that. I am going to also lead Moltres because I really like Moltres here. And then Zamazenta and Bulboom. Definitely in our best interest. Cool. I like it. I'm down. I'm all down for that. So if you go to an honest, we're totally just terrestrializing, maybe protecting here with Moltres and setting up that trick. If we can eat up an Astro Barrage, that's scary. Astro Barrage, terrifying. I kind of wish I had Focus Ash on my boy. My Shen Lord, but it works so much better on Shen Pao. Alright, let's see who you're leading here. Let me Fluttermane Chiyu. Okay. The Fluttermane Chiyu file here, I mean, I got Flash Fire. I like our Terror type. It could go into a Dark type move. I think we have to pop a trick from here. Maybe Terror Grass here. I think Terror Grass might be in our best interest. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because we want to set up Trick Room. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna protect here. Little bit of protect action. Just a tad bit of protect. We're gonna see a Terror pop out from him too. This is definitely fair, Fairy Fluttermane. Ain't playing no games. Ain't playing no games. So Fairy Fluttermane coming out here. They're probably looking to go for Dazzle Gleam. Hopefully they go for Moonblast into my Moltres. Then I can just pop this Trick Room. And just go from there, right? Because they can't go for Heat Wave into my Chandelure, which is awesome. As long as somebody is just attacking this Moltres. Right? As long as somebody's attacking this Moltres. Or if you're just going for Heat Wave, that'd be big. And we have to protect Moltres. Shadow Ball gonna fly in this slot. Don't double down in Shandle. Do not double down in Shandle. He's gonna go for Snarl. That's fine. That's a fine double down there. Because I'm able to soak up a, uh, a Snarl. Alright, cool. I'm able to soak up that. A special attack is gonna drop. But more importantly, I get off Trick Room. More importantly, I get off Trick Room. So I can throw a Heat Wave here. I could swap. I think my team really thrives off this. I mean, I know minus one, but Heat Wave can still do some nice damage. Um, 
I think just swapping into Zombacenta is probably your best bet in saving our Moltres. So Shandal, pop the Trick Room. We'll just let it die out here. We'll look to get off a Heat Wave. Maybe pull off a burn on the Flutter Main. Maybe get a crit on the Flutter Main. Who knows? Who knows? And now I can just go into Zombacenta, which is pretty big time play. Pretty big time play. Heat Wave now flies. Minus one and still does nice damage on the Flutter, which we love. And we do get the burn onto it. Even though it's Special Attacker, burn for a little extra damage. You can't go wrong with that. With some HP. Heat Wave does come out here. I'm Flash Fire. Show me you dodge Zamazenta. Oh my god. I am in love with you, Zamazenta. I am in love with you. And you're going to Moonblast too. You're going to leave my Shanna pop out here for a little bit. Even though that did a bit too much damage. I don't like that damage. I do not like that damage. But from here, we're going to go Heat Wave. And I really want to try to get rid of you. Actually, I'd rather just protect Zamazenta this turn, just in case they want to protect him. So I'll protect Zamazenta, just put up a shield. Let Shandle die out here, just so we get out a stronger Pokemon to kind of get rid of them. He ends up just protecting Fluttermane. I mean, that's fine. That is fine. Again, I kind of just need Shandalore to die out here. <laughs> you might be going for another Heat Wave, but I really want you KOing my Shandle. And honestly, Shandle might die out to this Life Orb here. I think it does, right? Yeah, cool. All right, that works fine. So Shandle did his job. We got off that Trick Room. Got off some damage. Now I can get out of different Pokemon. He's gonna go for a Snarl, which we actually would have just soaked. Alright, that's fine. That is fine. Because Fluttermane's low on HP. Um, I can bring out a Pokemon that can KO that. I want to body press. We'll bring out Robum here. Robum definitely looking mighty fine here. Robum definitely looking mighty fine. But choice in a grass guide or like I think what hammer's definitely up play here. Cause we got a rather fast team. We got a few turns left in the trick room, so Woodhammer definitely gonna play. I'm gonna Woodhammer you down. Um, I'm gonna body press you, and we'll pick up two KOs here. So Woodhammer, bop later. Get on out my face. And if you don't have Indeedy, woo, you don't have Indeedy. That's my one hope here. If no Indeedy is here, we're sitting really good because Rillaboom in trick room with Woodhammer choice man. Wait, what just happened? Wait. Wait, wait a minute. What just happened? I missed it. What just happened? Did we miss a body press? I missed it. I missed it. What's your speed here, Zamazenta? Oh, you probably don't outspeed there. Oh, no. How are you going to do me dirty like that? Did I just get out? Wow, that's a fast Zamazenta. A fast Zamazenta. Can my Moltres clutch up? Maybe they don't have Terra. Hold up. Wait a minute. You don't have Terra. Maybe you can Berserk pop me here. Definitely gotta go Fire Wrath here. Hold up. Give me a sec. Let me cook. Let me cook. I still have a shot here. Fire Wrath might just KO the Calyrex. One HP. Are you Sash? Did you just not Sash? You are Sash. Okay, cool. I was going to say, you better be Sash. If I could soak this turn. If I could soak this turn, we have a shot at win this. We still have Berserk to pop. This thing is Life Orb. Astro Barrage. We should soak this. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me cook. Let me cook. Get my Berserk pop. I get my Berserk pop, and we should have one turn left in Trick Room. Which I can maybe pick up a double KO. Hold up. Let me cook. No, Trick Room's gone. Oh, man. That sucks. We're just gonna protect Moltres. Actually, that really doesn't do anything. Wow, so I guess, yeah, I, I totally missed it. I guess I'll see it when I'm editing the video, but I guess the, the Chiyu outsped me there. Which makes sense, a, a 169 speed Zamazenta. Gonna get outsped in the Trick Room. All right, so we need to dodge a Heat Wave, pretty much. We need to dodge a Heat Wave, pretty much. Pretty much need to dodge a Heat Wave. We should pick up the KOs, no problem, with uh, Fiery Wrath. We need to dodge Heat Wave. There's the Astro Barge. We might just dial to the Astro Barge, which kind of sucks. This thing just hits way too hard. No, we soak. Hold up. Go ahead, bird. Nah, we don't dodge Heat Waves. RNG never on our side. But hey, one and two for today's video. I still absolutely love this team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little rusty. Haven't played in about a week, but still. Had a ton of fun recording, so hopefully you guys still did enjoy. This is Amazenta and Chandelure team. 
is amazing. I loved it so much. Sandlore, a fun Pokemon to use, but I just didn't really know the team, especially it showed at the end there when I didn't know Zamacenta's speed, because if I wouldn't known its speed, I maybe wouldn't have popped the Trick Room, but if we did outspeed that Shiyu, we probably would have won this match no problem, having Rollaboom just chilling in the uh, grass terrain in Trick Room would have worked out perfectly for us. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positivity today, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.